You can only wait upon somebody or something when you do not think much of yourself. If you are absolute nothing, you can wait on anything. If you think too much of yourself, you cannot wait upon anything or anybody. You will see, the more educated people become, the more affluent people become, they cannot wait. People who don't think much of themselves, you ask a villager comes here, you tell him, just wait, he'll simply sit there whole day. But you ask an educated man to wait, in a minute he will look at his watch five times, because he cannot wait, because he thinks too much of himself. One who does not think much of himself can simply wait. If you understand the proportion of who you are in this existence, you would know there was no other way than to wait. Right now, when I say the proportion, you are a speck compared to the cosmos, isn't it? You better wait. If you don't know how to wait, you will know nothing. Because your proportion in relation to the existence is too small, there's nothing you can do. So I am not asking you to wait, there is simply nothing else to do. It's not my idea that you should wait. If you could go and get it, I would say, go get it. You can't go and get it, so you better wait. If you are very rich and capable, you will go to the store and get what you want. If you are poor, what do you do? You go and wait in front of the ration shop, they'll say they'll open at ten o'clock. They always open only at twelve-thirty, but you wait the bag in your hand, because if you don't wait, there are hundred people standing behind you, you will end up in the last. You will have to wait the whole day, so you will wait. Why? Because you're incapable of doing something else. Right now, look at your position in the existence. Are you capable of anything else than to wait? With reference to the existence, are you capable of doing anything else except waiting? That's all you can do. So waiting is not about time, waiting is a certain quality, it's a certain way of being and that is only possible when you understand your proportion in the existence. If you have funny ideas in your head, you cannot wait. You have exaggerated sense of who you are, you cannot wait. If you think you are a king, you cannot wait. When you see the reality of who you are in this existence, only then you can wait. Waiting comes because you have perceived the reality the way it is. You are unable to wait because your mind is full of fancifulness. Perception will naturally lead to waiting.